Welcome back to Undertale. I'm Tagus. This is my parent. Hey guys. So we are going to go and talk to uh, Turtle Man. Okay. He has some neat junk for sale. Yay. <laughs> uh, I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through much of it yourself. <laughs> that emblem. Eh, you don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? <laughs> it's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns, cat name for beans. King for love. Emblems buns. meaning new. The emblem predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we knew is the triangle symbolizes as monsters below and the wing circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see a little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffy, Fluffy Buns. Buns. He's a friendly, happy go lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk and talk to people. I thought Asgore was the king. Yeah, he is. Why did I call a dream or Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Yeah, Asgore is, in fact. Undying, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the rogue art. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> okay, so we can get a crab apple, CT, cloudy glasses, and a torn notebook. Um. I do want both. Crab apple looks like a crab. Well, in that case, let me get rid of my dog residue. Some of my dog residue. The dog residue is thrown away. <gasps> what? Do we want... Yeah, we'll get more defense, so we'll get some cloudy glasses. Even though I can't imagine how that would possibly help us. Video game logic. You equip the glasses. I'm gonna go save. Probably a good plan. Just in case. Alright, shall we go find Tammy? <gasps> I love Tammy. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Hmm. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. How specific? What am I even walking in? Water. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Really? Oh. Look at me, I'm a human. I'm down here. <gasps> oh dear. <gasps> Special enemy Temi appears! To defeat you. Um... Hot. You say hello to Temi. Not just hi, but hoi! Look at her little yanks. Little. Little. Timmy forgot her other attack. Can we feed her Timmy flakes? Timmy only wants the Timmy flakes. No, so hunger. Time. I walked into her legs. Oh, come on. Oh, Timmy. Shall we do it again? Okay, let's do flex. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. 
Chimmy vibrates intensely. Um. Bandage. Shit, I don't, and I don't think my dog wants to do. Shit, this is not gonna be good. She says, "Oh, cute." What? What? Get away from me. <gasps> you were defeated by Temmie. Are you kidding me? Nope. All right, let's, um... Willow, <laughs> stay determined. All right, I can't believe we died to Temmie. I, well, I should have done this flex. Because Temmie will, in fact, beat the living daylight out of you. I see that. Oh, a little Tem Tem. All right, let's uh, let's head back there. Um, did you hear that sound? Yep. Hang on. Is it these lights? Oh, it is. There she is. Timmy. All right, well, talk to her. Hi, I'm Timmy. <sighs> okay. No! Three Temmie Flakes? I thought we were gonna fight that. Well, yeah, but we, I wanna make sure we do everything. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Temmie is trying to glomp you! He will flex. He will flex at Temmie! No, buckles are not cute! <gasps> Temmie, are you okay? No! Hi! Oh, come on. I did not want to meet Aaron. Ah! Alright, oh, I have to... I'm just gonna flee. I know it looks like at some point she vibrates off the screen. I just don't know how to activate it. Alright, we're in the uh, this dark forest. It's pretty. I like how it makes a little squeak. Oh. Those are not exciting monsters. Do I have to get... Uh, very normal. Flirt, you wiggle your hips. Suddenly... <gasps> are you kidding me? Holy shit. Smells, Smells like, like a bait shop. Um... And unhug. Um, you hug Moldvig. Gross slime covers you. Your speed decreases. Slime sounds. Oh shit. Moldvig gyrates reservedly. We lie down. Moldvig lies down too. Moldvig understands life now. Roar. Holy crap. Holy crap. Get away from me. He needs some distance. So I'll unhug. You don't hug Moldvig. It appreciates the respect of its boundaries. Aww. <gasps> Holy. And now Moldvig is comfortable with us. Yay. Um. Welcome to Tem Village. Let's save before we talk to people. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Are you ready? Hi! Welcome to Tem Village! Hi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend Temmy! Hi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend Temmy! Hi! I'm Temmy! Don't forget my friend! Hi! I'm Bob. <laughs> Hi! You should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, yeah! I agree. Should check Tem Shop. I don't know how to make that sound. <laughs> Human, such a cute. 
Cam, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Cam, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Statue of Tim, very famous, very. There's a creepy Tim in the wall. Tim heard human allergics to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to them. <laughs> oh, Tim me. Go see creepy wall Tim. Feeling of being watched. Mushroom, mushroom dance. dance. Okay, I can't see the mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Oh. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my something. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. I want to see this dance. <laughs> mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? If only I could see the world above, but even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Hives! <laughs> okay, so let's go check out Tam. And, uh, sell my dog residue. Hi! Welcome to the Tem Shop! Hi! Oh, it's you. I'm Temmy! Hi! I'm Temmy! Oh god. Us Tems have a deep history! Yeah, yeah, go to the Tem Shop. Very talkative she is. Um... All right, we'll sell. You got a dog with a dude. Mm, I gotta have that dog with a dude, but I gotta pay for college. Yeah. Tim always wanted dog with a dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep my other dog residues. Um, I will. Sell my dirty bandage. There, we have. Wow, her face. What can we buy from Tem? Huh? Uh, oh, heals 2 HP. Look at this, okay. So, Tem Flake, food of Tem. Tem Flake on sale, discount food of Tem. Uh, Tem Flake, expensive, food of Tem, expensive. And then, college Tem pursue higher education. So, we should come back at some point. And, um, send Tim off to college. We'll send Tim off to college. And Tim can come back and help be more educated. <laughs> so we will, at some point, do that. It'll just take time. Or do we want to do it now? There is a way to do it now. Where do we get the gold? All right. So after some crazy ass stuff, we have 5,000 gold and let's send Timmy to college. Yay! Ready? Look at her eyes. <laughs> That's a lot of mines. Can Tim really accept? Who cares? Tim goes to college and make you proud. Without her face. <laughs> her face is staying behind. That is so weird. Oh, look at her little hat. Tim back from Kool-Aid. Tim learned many things. Learn to sell new items. Yeah, yeah. So what can we... Heavy armor, which I we need to we it makes battles too easy. So now we need to save up for that. <laughs> Cause it will make battles really easy. Um let's see what she can talk. So uh Temmy history. Let's see if she says something new. Yeah yeah, got that Tem got degree in Tem studies. Tem can tell you all about Tem's deep history. Okay, apparently not. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I had to, I wanted to do that. So we will not get the um, Tem armor because it does make the game really unfair. Because we basically will never die because everything will only do one damage to us. Um, I have to turn this on. Wait. Wait a minute. Hey, it's Washua and Aaron. Uh, what do we do? I can't remember what to do to get like, the good ending with them. Um, I'm just gonna run. For now. Until... I scared Willow when I pet her. Aww. 
Okay, so the six is the Tem Village. How how do we get out? Oh, you know what? Because the only point going that way was for Tem Village, I think we have a different road to go now. Uh, okay. The, oh yeah, we go over to the right. I was keep fleeing because I want to. I want to get like the perfect endings with them. Here we go. Where are we going? Uh, we are going off to see the wonderful Undyne. Don't you try to kill us? Yeah. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Oh, I was wondering what we were walking on. Actually, it's these crystals. Uh, hang on. Those crystals. Yeah. Okay, apparently I have to go this way. Don't worry. Uh oh. They won't let us run. No. Oh shit. I can't run. I can't flee. They still for the blue ones. There are no blue ones. There was. True. Okay, uh, clean me. Last wash bot will clean you when it gets very clean. Green means clean. I need a healing. Uh. I'm probably gonna die this time. I'm gonna die this time. <laughs> e, um... Here. Have a box of cat to make yourself feel better. Hi. Except her luck. I think I might have kissed her on the butt. Yeah, it's a pretty big butt if it's up here. Look at that wiggly tummy. Wiggle. All right, let's uh, do that again without dying. She looks so unimpressed with me right now. <laughs> I know, she looks like she's sleeping. Okay, let's see if we... Damn it, Washua! Alright, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna joke with Washua. You tell a joke about two kids who played in the muddy flower garden. Washua's power is neutralized. No, that joke's too dirty! Ha, <laughs> nice. My kind of armor. Oh, shit! Oh, my humor and armor. I was like panicking over this. Hair and his sweaty bullets. I'm gonna touch you, Washua. You reach out, Washua recoils from your touch. Yuck! Holy crap. Oh, it's Washua's sweat that's attacking us. Ew. It smells like an underwater barnyard. That smells really gross. Um. Oh, I can spare. Okay, so Washua... Come on, Washua. Washua wonders if tears are sanitary. They are. They're antibacterial. Okay, we've neutralized Washua, even though it doesn't seem like we have. I think we need to... Oh, we need to actually get clean. So... I did not mean to do that. Smells like detergent. Oh, we can we can spare him now. I almost beat him up. Okay, we we've uh, pleased we've pleased Washua and Aaron. Sweet. Aaron's so creepy. Why is he hanging? Why does Washua hang out with him? He's like, I'll clean you one day. Probably. Oh. Music is sounding ominous. I see. Uh-oh. Washba! We're done. I'm out of here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I have to... I just have to make it all the way up here. Just, Washua, don't worry about it. Come on. I think we're out of here. We're out of here. Yay! What's going on here? Water. 
I like how there's light around. Oh, this looks creepy. Behind you. It's the Undyne battle. We, it's happening. Hello. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. But there's only one of us. She needs seven. Well, that's... She's got that under control. <gasps> Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! He's like, oh, wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? So, we have to do something specific here. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry, I thought we had to do something specific. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. Oh, it's you, sorry. Oh. Eh. You wouldn't say you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. <gasps> Aww. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Well, that's just wonderful. So in one they escape and one we kill everybody? Well, there's that. There's also the theory that they're talking about um, Frisk or uh, or um, Asriel. Yo! He's like walking towards us. He's like, Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess it makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. <gasps> Yo, well, wait! Help! I tripped! I'll help you. Yay! Yo, dude, if if you if you hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. All right, tiny monster child saved us. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. We'll have to be friends instead. Man, I really should go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yes, you should. Later, dude. So if you don't actually save him, he will eventually fall, and then we'll have to jump down after him. But then she'll be mad at you. So, where do we save? We have to save. I assume somewhere. Oh, we save here. Because this is about to happen. We've already said this. Undine, Undine is just doing her thing. And Asgore, we come a god. Oh, here we go. 
Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Monologuing. Story time! It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell you that story when you're about to death? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her face. Her real face. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you, you're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. Her face. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end it. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> so next episode will be what will probably be the uh, most insane battle ever. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Until the end of the game, anyway. It's really like the, the end end of the game. <laughs> so yep, yeah, next, next time we will be fighting Undying. And it may be one. Well, actually, it's not as bad as the Sans fight when you do the genocide run. So that that fight is just brutal. But this one's this is pretty insane. Because after all, she is the head of the Rogard. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give us a like, a subscribe, and a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.